here's a little something for you if you have a herniated or a bulging disc. Um, so first is you're gonna make some equipment. So I have this cheap yoga mat. Here's basically what you do with it. <clears throat> Fold it into thirds. This, this one's kind of thick, so it's not gonna be a great example, but you fold it into thirds and then roll it up into a roll from one end all the way to the other end. And you end up with something that looks a little bit like, like this. And then I've taken this asparagus rubber band, put it around, just hold it in place. Now, what you'll do is you wanna find your belly button. And um, if you have the disc, is likely to be bulging in L5, S1, or L4, L5. And so for that, you want it definitely underneath the belly button. The top of the mat, or the roll, comes way down below the belly button. And I've got about, I can feel two inches below. And then you just want to lie down on your belly and relax. And breathe. Breathe with your lips closed. Long exhales. And depending on how much that disc is bulging, you'll want to lie here for about 15 to 20 minutes to allow the disc to settle back into its place. And once you've once you've relaxed here for that long, you'll do some alternating leg lifts. Just like this. Now, if one leg feels really uncomfortable, like it feels a big pinch, and you wanna come back here and breathe until you can lift both legs without a pinch. Now, both of them should lift somewhat off the floor, and you can kind of test because if you have somebody watching you, you can measure how high your leg comes up. And what you'll notice is once that disc slips back in, you'll have almost even on both sides. And with a little time, a little patience, a little practice, that just will slip right back in. So that is your little fix for that. And I'm going to show you a way to sit in a chair that's going to be a little bit more comfortable for you. So let's say you're sitting in a chair that has a nice little back on it. I have this little fitness ball, and it's one of these, it's this big, you blow it up with air, so it's a little bit squishy. And you wanna put this right behind your back so that as you sit straight, your back relaxes, but it's also straight so that your head is resting right over your spine actually sit here and relax. And those are a couple of tidbits for uh, bolting discs or herniated discs. Good luck and if you have any questions please leave those in the comments and hit subscribe because it's likely I'll get back to you with another video or at least answer your question. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.